Hiya, people. <clears throat> you know, I did a, a podcast with uh, Harold Buchanan yesterday. And, you know, we talked before and after the show. And it's funny. Those are the interesting things, the, the before and after show. <clears throat> and he he's a really benevolent guy. You know, he he really cares. And just just like like Rob Oren and, and like a lot of people I know that I can't name. I just named two right off the bat, so I'm sorry for who might have missed. Um, these are really nice guys. These wargaming people. These This wargaming community, I've never met a bunch of nicer people. Yeah, you got your oddballs, but altogether, these guys are great. I'm, I'm learning so much. It's fantastic. And yeah, we live in weird times, and this is a... This is not an episode, this is just something I'm shooting up there, you know? And it's actually, you know what? I'm actually doing this for uh, Robert Carroll, one of my supporters. He's having a hard time being confined, right? I guess the kids are home, the wife is home, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, let's just yap a bit, and then we're gonna have a video later on, which... It's pretty... Uh, I find it funny. Look, I spent all day uh, editing it, but uh, we'll see. But you know what? Let's talk about Joni Mitchell. Hold on a second here. Joni Mitchell. Let me see here. Do I have a good shot? Joni Mitchell. Hey. These are her first ten albums. And man, I'm... I've been listening to Joni Mitchell since I was... 15 years old and the first piece I heard was actually one of her on this album called Carrie and this is the album Blue now if you don't know this album and I don't know you're of a certain mind you know you're not you just don't listen to EDM like Uva you know Uva just listen to yeah, he's German what do you want <clears throat> but this Changed my life. And I mean, I can present you any album by Joni Mitchell, which is just phenomenal. But some of them just are just insanely incredible. The Hissing of the Summer Lawns with Edith and the Kingpin just. I mean, obviously she's a poet, and Hygiera. There, there, there's no words to suggest, or there's no words to convey what I feel <clears throat> this woman has done for me. I feel like I, eh, I grew up because of her. Anyways, enough of that. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing this video just, you know, talk, kill the boredom. Um, I, I, this is what I received in the mail today from Lock and Load. And this, I know I received games and all that, like Storming the Gap. Uh, 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 this is insane. World at War 85, Storming the Gap. The box weighs a ton. But anyways. But this. The flip cards. So basically... You know, you read through the rules, the core rule book, you know, for the system. And, you know, uh, your brain is like mine. It's getting a little old. And you got all these charts. All these charts. You know, boom. All the charts that are in the rule book. Anything that's required, like you got a reference and all that. It's all in here, man. It's I, I just think it's incredible. You know, and the way... It's formatted. I don't know who thought about this, but it can't be David Heath. Because he ain't that smart. There's no way. Like, up here. Okay, hold on here. Up here. Legends. On every single page. Huh? Plus, that artwork. I like it. I'm joking about David Heath. What are you, what are you kidding? He's not that smart. You know? And there's, there's some sort of... I don't know if you can see it properly here. I know there's a glare. Hold on. I am not just... Okay, you can see the colors over here. So, why is there colors? There's no index. I was looking for the index, but maybe there's a reason why there's no index. Green, 
and yellow. I think those represent the modules. Africa, uh, Vietnam, stuff like that. I think this was pretty cool. I shot a video of that today, but it was crap. And here's for Kevin Big Man CEO, which you don't understand. Like, you see, what, what Kev, Kevin talks like this. Eh, we're using the MMC counter and uh, we're doing the SOB of the uh, GIA, right? No, no, the MMC counters are multi-man counters. Eh? Still a little lesson for Kevin. Anyways, I'm going to get through this video. Thanks for having me over for coffee and cookies. Um, in your house, that is. Robert Carroll, you be well. Also, Robert Moffitt, you asked me once to do this. I'm doing it. Guys, thanks. For my, thanks for my supporters. It helps me do this tremendously, okay? And uh, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. Or, and that subscribe. I mean, become a supporter. It's a buck twenty-five a week, man. Huh? Five bucks a month. A buck twenty-five a week. Come on. Uh, uh, you'll get stuff like this, man. Guys, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. And wash your hands. Okay? Nurses, cops, uh, firefighters, mental health workers. You got the tough job. Delivery guys. I just got my package ready from FedEx. You know, life is going on. Power to them, man. Okay? What is it? Uh... I saw a thing on Facebook. It said uh, our grandfathers were asked to go fight and die for the freedom of the world. All we're asked to do is to shut up and sit down for two weeks. I think we could do it, huh? Be well, be well. Gli amici italiani, state bene, eh? And Nihon Jindes, watashi wa tomodachi. Et mes amis français, de la France. Soyez bien, monsieur, madame. Hein? Et mes Québécois. On va les avoir. Et Faristo. I told Kevin that I was going to hold my breath for him. Here I go, Kevin. <gasps> Kevin Sharp, man, the CEO. I've called that guy the CEO, the president for life. Actually, he called himself the president for life, and I blast that guy so much, and he keeps taking it. He keeps taking it. The more punches I give that guy, the more he keeps taking it. Hey, he's a tough guy. You know, he's a descendant of Botany Bay, the, uh, the penal island. You know, where there was no women. And Kevin. Here's my impression of Kevin. I learned from a lot of people. Like, Rob's Tabletop World. I could do an impression of Rob's Tabletop World. You know, I do this to, to basically laugh at myself. And I hope I don't offend anybody. It's not meant to offend anybody. It's meant as a lighthearted joke. And if you are offended, I really don't care. You see, I'm joking, I'm joking. You want to know what's happening on the big board? I'll tell you what's happening on the big board. Hip shot! Kevin, CEO, president for life, dictator of a small country we don't know the name of yet. You know, I read in a Facebook post that uh, Kevin was in Canada, you know, close to the, the Detroit border in the States. I mean, that's about, what, three hours away from here, Kevin? You know I live in Canada. You could have given me a call. You could have bought me lunch, supper. You know what I'm saying? Bought me that bottle of scotch you're talking about all the time. You know, we could settle old scores. Canada ain't that big, baby. Board Rob Moffat, Kevin is taking a look at Omaha landings from the tactical combat series. Also, he takes a look at Mike Denson's last 100 yards game plan mission number one, and he butchers a French game's name. He says something like, blah, 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 but it's the last Eagles, quatre bras, not blah, 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 blah. Yeah, bloody. Kevin, CEO, big man. You make a lot of cash, eh? Because you're CEO, you're the big man of the big board, president for life. 
You know, I speak French, Kevin. I won't charge you too much. You can afford some French lessons. Eh. Kevin, CEO of the Big Board, is taking a look, or actually doing turn 12 of the EFS system on the AGC, that means Army Group Center of the Barbarossa game, and the EFS must mean extra fun system. Thanks for being clear, Kevin. No, I always make fun of Kevin. Hey, Kevin, you know what I'm saying? But can you imagine a conversation like being a flying wall and seeing Kevin talking with Dean Essig? You know, it'd go something like this. Hey, Dean, how's your BFI with your LOL? You're going to take the BLT and you're going to get a CBC with the a uh, AFG? Kevin, uh, no, Dean. I'm going to get the uh, what uh, the, the WTF with the uh, FFS and uh, I'll see you later. Hey, gang. I I'm kind of confused here. I got this message from Dan. You know, Dan from that uh, No Enemies Here thing. Apparently, that's been going for 52 weeks. Who knew? It feels like a lot longer. But I was asked, actually, it was more of a demand, really, now that I think about it, an insistent kind of needling to do something, you know, nice for him. And, and I wanted to do that, to be nice, sort of, maybe. And I, I was thinking about how I feel about no enemies here and the weekly updates and the uh, constant ribbing and you know digging hey, poor little me and so i thought i had how, how do i really feel about it and i kind of kind of actually love it but then i thought what do i what sort of love do i really have for for dan and for no enemies here it's not agape it's not the traditional sort of a kid spousal style love it's not that at all really not that at all certainly in Latin, it's not Eros. I mean, have you seen the guy? Really? I mean, who? That is a face only a mother could love. But it's probably more like Philia. It's probably more a little uh, kind of a, a, an affectionate regard that uh, I have this passionate desire to just give that guy a little hug and tell him it's going to be okay, little guy. And keep at it. You're doing a great job and we love you. No enemies here. If you have him, haven't ever watched it, you should. Thank you. This is for Rob Moffat. You want to know what's happening on the big board, Rob? I'll tell you what's happening on the big board. Rob, you know what Kevin's doing? He's reading the alphabet. The CEO is checking out the Granicus 334 BC historical notes and articles from Ancient War magazine. Kevin's also checking out GD44 of 4. For all you Euro gamers checking out my channel, that's Gross Deutschland 1940. It's a war game. He's also checking out Tiny Battle magazines and Flying Pig Games magazine. Yeah, issue number 12 with the game MacArthur's Defeat. And because this guy's got nothing to do in life but play games, here's another video. It's The Table Battles by Hollenspiel, the Alexander expansion. So Rob, that's what's happening on the big board. You want to know what's happening on the big board? I'll tell you what's happening on the big board. Kevin, CEO, big man, and president for life of the big board is speaking English. Yeah. He described the title. He read it all out. On a, I know exactly what game it is. He didn't give me no BFF or, or GGG. This is a little playthrough, I should say, of Armored Knights, Gadarian Crosses the Desna, 1941, by Grognard Simulation. This is a game designed by Chris Fazulo Sr. Thanks, Kevy. GMT, designed by Mike Denson. And talking about the last hundred yards, if you want to know what's happening on the big board, I'll tell you what's happening on the big board. Kevin, CEO big man of the big board, is checking out, well, he entitles his video, Combat and Bits, The Last Hundred Yards. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what's happening on the big board. You know, Kevin, Kevin Sharp, the CEO, you know, I love the guy, right? <clears throat> I mean, who doesn't? You know what I'm saying? And um, 
sometimes I'm in a hurry to finishing up the show and uh, I go and check out who's putting out what. And uh, if it's not the player's aid, uh, then it's Kevin, right? So this time it's Kevin. I'm in a hurry, right? So um, I want to, I listen to what he says and uh, I've spoken to him about this. I've said, Kevin, sometimes I'm in a hurry and you, you, you don't say the full name of the game or, or a system or something. And basically he kind of does this to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and for example, this is what he said in his last video. Welcome back to Big Board. We have a look at GD40. It's the TCS system from MMP. He doesn't care. You know, let's say there's a new guy watching my show for the first time. He wants to get into war games, you know? You know what the guy's learned? The alphabet. He doesn't know what the hell is going on. Come on, Kevin, my nature. Ah, eh? eh? a bit of heart. You know, operational studies group gives it a very serious, you know, serious operational studies group. You know, it's a game, a game played by the likes of Kevin Sharp, the CEO, President for Life. Talking about these mispronunciations, like once I called, I read uh, the word evil, and they, I, I was just reading and it came out evil. You know, I dated a girl called Evel once, or maybe that's what she was, whatever. But you know, don't let Kevin Sharp <laughs> on... Don't let him know that I called the city of Hue Hugh because he's going to have a field day. He's going to rip me apart. And talking about Kevin Sharp, here we go. You want to know what's happening on the big board? I'll tell you what's happening on the big board. Kevin, big man, CEO, dictator for life of his small island. Whatever his wife calls it. But anyways, he's giving you an uh, easier way to get into Lock and Old Publishing's Days of Hero as the game is pretty pretty accessible itself but Kevin with all his experience in wargaming helps you out check him out big man also Kevin has another video out entitled first activations or so learning as we go the BCS system from MMP you want to know what's happening on the big board I'll tell you what's happening on the big board Kevin and a new strategy acronym WITP Part 1 must be an incredible game. World in the pits. Or World It the Panzer. But it's probably what's in the package. An unboxing by the Chief, CEO, and Big Man. And Kevin, Big Man, has a part 2, a shrink rip of what's in the package. And what's in the package is, and I was wrong, it's War in the Pacific. Kevin Sharp, ladies and gentlemen, CEO. The CEO treats us to this huge, huge game. And when I say huge, I'm talking my ex-mother-in-law huge. All right? This is actually a joy to watch. Kevin's not in the picture, so there's more of a joy. War in the Pacific. I mean, I'm looking at the at the, the, the stats here. It's designed by, well, this is the way Kevin would tell you. WITP is designed by KK and published by DG. I'm here to clear things up. So I'm going to tell you, War in the Pacific, and usually I don't discuss price here, but I mean, on Decisions Games page, it's $450 US, ladies and gentlemen. That's like a million dollars Canadian. But only the CEO can bring you this gem because he can afford it. That's why he's CEO and big man. And uh, it's designed by Kevin Kiff, published by Decision Games. Now, this game comes with like 9,000 counters. It's a good thing... Uh, Kevin Sharp uh, has a cushy job because he's going to be doing a, a hell of a lot of clipping. And you know what, Kevin? Hats off to you. Thanks, Kevin. You want to know what's happening on the big board? I'll tell you what's happening on the big board. Kevin, big man, CEO, and all that garbage. That World at War 85 chat on On the Air with Lock and Load. Plus, another video of Storming the Gap, World at War 85 
Shrink Ripper, and Fanboy something. He spells boy wrong. I don't know. Is he from Australia or something? Because, you know, it's down under and things are different there. The water doesn't go the same way as our water goes. Anyways, big board, ladies and gentlemen. And Kev also does the pre-knowledge game plan assessment of Mark Simonich's Stalingrad 42. You know, pre-knowledge game plan assessment. I mean, if I was in the army, I'd want this guy to be my my commanding officer. Because it's like, it's a game, right? But in real war, he'd have pre-knowledge plan assessment, not game plan assessment. I'll follow you anywhere, Kev. But look at this map, the one that, uh, with it or on it. It's just a, a two belligerents, right? One in front of each other. Where's the cover? There's no cover. I, 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 I don't get it. I, I have no idea how tactics work at that level. I don't know. I, I look like this when I see something like that. You want to know what's happening on the big board? I'll tell you what's happening on the big board. Kevin, CEO, is doing it on purpose to, to encrypt everything he says. I have no idea what he's doing without watching the video. He's doing an AAC con gameplay notes. Next war in Poland, I know that. And OCS Korea, I guess I know that too. You know, Kevin, Give us little guys a break. Hey, I mean, make it easy for us. Why does it always have to be difficult, Kevin? Huh? Why? I mean, you know, a cigar is a cigar, Kevin. You know what I'm saying? A burger is a burger. It don't have to be difficult. So please, I appeal to you, and I'm sure there's a few other people that appeal to you, right? And, uh, you know, AAC, I don't know what AAC means. It's the same thing as SOB. Huh? Kevin? S-O-B? Huh? Well, you know what, Kevin? That picture you took there makes you look angelic. I know otherwise. Thank you very much. You want to know what's happening on the big board? I'll tell you what's happening on the big board. Kevin, big man and CEO of his domain, is playing Korea, The Forgotten War, a game published by MMP, designed by Dean Essig. He's on the 26th return, if I'm not mistaken. And you know, you don't want to make a mistake with the CEO. Because then he calls you, he writes you an email, he blasts you on Facebook, he shellacks you on Twitter, and the guy's connected. No mistakes. You want to know what's happening on the big board? I'll tell you what's happening on the big board. Kevin Bigman, CEO for life, president, and all kinds, is unboxing or unpacking, I should say, quick red storm with a warning on it. So I haven't checked it out. I don't like warnings. I mean, he could be, you know, showering or something. I don't want to see that. You know what's happening on the big board? I'll tell you what's happening on the big board. Kevin, CEO of the big board, is checking out C3i magazine Gettysburg. Gettysburg is a game designed by Mark Herman, but the magazine is published by Roger B. McGowan. First play and Kevin's thoughts. You know, when I read that, Kevin's thoughts, it makes me think of Kevin sitting down on a leather lazy boy, reclined next to a fireplace, just like Masterpiece Theater, having a drink. Most playtest of a time for trumpets on the big board. You know, why does he call it the big board? Very Freudian. You wanna know what's happening on the big board? I'll tell you what's happening on the big board. Kevin has a stop motion camera thing happening, which I think is fantastic. Because one, he ain't talking. And two, I don't know what game this is. But it's it's the battle of, and I hope I'm saying this right, Kunaha, 401 BC turn two, from the great battles of history. Which one, volume one, two, you know, which one, Kevin? You doing this on purpose? Because it's freaking me out, man. Huh? Eh? It's personal now, Kevin. You want to know what's happening on the big board? I'll tell you what's happening on the big board. Kevin is back two hours earlier from game on, and he he's 
going to speak about nine games he played. Game on, Kevin. I got to give props to the big guy, you know, even though I don't want to. But he has a video, a stop motion video, which I think is fantastic, on the great battles of history. And I hope this is pronounced Kunaha, but he probably says Kunaxa. And if it's Mexico, you want to know what's happening on the big board? I'll tell you what's happening on the big board. First, I'd like to thank Kevin for counseling me on trolls, the internet. Well, counseling me. It's not like something I didn't know, but sometimes, you know, you just you want to lose it. And there was a guy on a Facebook uh, page on the Solitaire War Games. He was just being probably himself. And just this and this guy, this and that person, this and this show, this and that show. Thanks, Kev, for not making me go over to his house and do what I thought I had to do. Do you not see? You see, big board Kev, CEO, big man. See, he wrote everything legibly, so I can actually say that without having to, you know, check on a on a dictionary what uh, whatever means. Ah, Kev, can't you be like that guy? Ah, stop pissing me off, eh? Hey?